Hi there, welcome to Getting Started Guide to Apache API 6. My name is Babur. I am a developer advocate. And today I will be giving you an overview of Apache API 6 and show you how to start with everything that I covered today. Of course, can be found on official documentation. You can access it by going to api6.apache.org. Before we jump to quick start, Let's talk about Apache API 6 first. Apache API 6 is a dynamic, real-time, high-performance API gateway. API 6 provides rich traffic management features such as load balancing, dynamic upstream, canary release, circuit breaking, authentication, observability, and more. You can use Apache API 6 to handle traditional North source traffic as well as east-west traffic between services. It can also be used as Kubernetes ingress controller. It can perform identity verification and interface with identity authentication services provided by, for example, Okta or Auster to prioritize your security traffic. It supports hot reloading and non to reload the service when adding and deleting and modifying your plugins. Apache API 6 has a lightweight architecture for easy containerization because it uses etcd which is responsible for configuration storage but not databases such as postgresql or cassandra plugins no matter new or old are available for hot loading and unloading which is unique among similar competitors it also supports features like connecting with parameters zipkin skywalking and many other monitoring components API 6 consists of a data plane to dynamically control the request traffic, a control plane to store, and synchronize the gateway data configuration. Apache API 6 is a booming open source project. After being open sourced on June 6, 2019, it has quickly gained attention and interest from many developers. Now, Apache API 6, with more than 8,000 stars, on GitHub, nearly 300 contributors there. It's a developers community with more than 1,500 people. From the every beginning of being open sourced, API 6 has been releasing a version per month to ensure the quality and stability of the code. It sticks to the concept of test driven development and automated CI and CD. You can also join our community just right away, right now. So just uh, go to Apache API 6 and uh, under resources, you can find the community page. So we have many options uh, to joining our community. One of the options, you can just uh, subscribe the mailing list by following this guide or you can just use a Slack invitation link to join our Slack community and where you can ask your questions and your questions will be answered within a couple of minutes. So, for example, once you join our Apache workspace, just search for API 6 channel and we have actively engineers uh, sitting there, you can interact with them anytime. You can also follow us on Twitter. Just uh, search for at Apache API 6 and you should found this web page. Some core concepts should be learned before you create some configurations to let Apache API 6 to work as per your needs. Route is the most important concept in Apache API 6. It guides API 6 to forward traffic to the correct backends. Or upstream is a view of backend microservices from API Gateway point of view. Plugin is a mechanism to manage your all kind of traffic, like authentication, authorization, and so on on the API X side. This quick start guide is divided into the following three steps. Install Apache API 6 via Docker Compose, 
create the road and bind it with a, an upstream. We use and then kernel command to verify that results returned after binding are as expected. In addition to this guide, some advanced operations on how to use Apache API 6, including adding kind of dashboard troubleshootings can be found in the documentation. The first step, make sure you have Apache API 6 installed. It should only take a few minutes and you can find all the necessary instructions uh, on the same page. You can also choose whichever environment you want to run it. Uh, you can also install Apache API 6, uh, let's say, uh, what other options we have. We are RPM repository, Docker, Helm chart, and you can also directly use a source release package. Please choose one from the following options. So as for me, I will be running it in Docker and Docker desktop installed on my Windows machine. With the help of Docker, we can start Apache API 6. You need to just download a Docker image of Apache API 6. Then just switch to the current directory to the API 6 slash example path. Then run the Docker compose command to install the Apache API 6. So yeah, it will take some time to download all required files. Please be patient. Once download is complete, we can execute a curl command on the host running Docker to access the admin API. If uh, Apache API 6 was successfully started based on the returned data, we can check that. Following is the is return to indicate that Apache API 6 was successfully started. We just check it if Apache API 6 was successfully started. And then we can access also admin API. As you can see, I'm running my Docker desktop and I have on my machine installed a couple of components that comes with API 6. You can see a basic dashboard and a DCD container is running and also some parameters, Grafana, for example, if you go and click, try to open the API 6 dashboard, you can see the dashboard is running. If you log in into the dashboard by using the as admin and password, as an admin, if you go there, you can see our dashboard that provides similar functionality that we are doing now through the API. Similarly, we can also check Docker API 6 configuration files by forwarding and opening it in our favorite editor in my case is Visual Studio. So, and I can see uh, some configuration files under example. Here you can customize your all the configuration related to the API 6. Now we have a running instance of Apache API 6. Next, let's try it. Let's try to create the route. Apache API 6 provides users with powerful admin API, and uh, as we can see, the dashboard. In this demo, we're going to use admin API, and we can create a route and connect it to an upstream service, also known as upstream and documentation. When a request arrives to Apache API 6, it knows which upstream the request should be forwarded to because we have configured matching rules for the route object. Apache Pass can forward the request to the corresponding upstream service. The following code creates a sample configuration of route. This routing configuration means 
that all matching inbound requests will be forwarded to the upstream service. HTTP pin.org AT port. When they meet all the rules listed below. Once this route is created, we can access upstream service using the address exposed by Apache API 6. As we can see, this will be forwarded to our expected HTTP pin or anything full pass. After above steps we did, we know that we must set up an upstream for the given road. An upstream can be created by simply executing the following command and here we go. We use a round robin as a load balancing mechanism and you can set the HTTP pin work on 80 port as our upstream target. So for more information you can see admin API and official documentation. Now we have a road an upstream. One of the last step is we need to bind this road to the given upstream. Let's find the route for it. I will run this curl command and I will provide the which road I want to map my upstream. So after all it's done, it is time to now validate. We have created the route and the upstream series. We bounded them. Now we can test if we this routing mechanism is working fine. I will run curl get with a set of parameters and I will assign the host as http bin.org. So it returns the data from upstream service. The result is we expected. Let's review uh, what we have done uh, as a part of quick uh, getting started guide. First step, we installed Apache API 6. We used uh, Docker Compose to bring our all necessary uh, components like a admin API. And then uh, on step two, we create the road to say the admin API we want to have this road created and on the next step we create the upstream to forward uh, these upcoming requests by using road to the given upstream that's the same as how we are binding this road to the upstream and then at the end we validated that when we send a request to the given host and URL address, our request forwarded to responding upstream service. The interesting fact that you can also do similar steps by using yeah, Apache API 6 dashboard. So if you go to Apache Press dashboard and open it in the browser, you can see we have created road by using terminal, but you can also do it the same way by from the dashboard. And also we can see there is a upstream created by using a round robin load balancing mechanism, and I can see what other information I have. So that was all. Thank you for watching.